Hey, this is Cool Trains in Montreal, and I'm counting down my 10 favorite locomotives. So this is number seven. This is the Central Vermont. And this is a company that my father actually worked for. He's passed away since, but uh, this is the company that I remember him most fondly for. Um, other than uh, working at uh, the Montreal offices in CN and visiting him and stuff like this. Uh, in um, in uh, times when he went to Vermont, he would always come back with a little toy car or something like that for me and my brother. So I always enjoyed uh, Central Vermont's paint scheme as well. And this is another one from the 1970s. And this is an RS-11. This is a Alco RS-11 locomotive. Uh, these are um, vintage 1959, I think. Um, they came from the Grand Trunk uh, Railroad, and they came secondhand, or yeah, secondhand to uh, Central Vermont. And they painted them up in this really nice green for, of course, the Green Mountain State. Uh, state. And uh, this CV Noodle, um, it kind of mimics the uh, CN in a way. And I've got two of them. These are Atlas models. Uh, they came out uh, probably 2000, what? Eight, nine, something like that. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. So I got two of them. I snapped them up actually <laughs> when they came out. So these are like probably uh, really most sentimental ones, I guess, because CV is so awesome. So let me see if they'll run well. You see, pretty good slow speed. Atlas models always seem to have pretty good slow speed. They have very good detail. Paint scheme is very, very crisp. Now this is running very slowly. So this is a tandem RS-11 uh, group. Now these two RS-11s, they're running long hood forward for a reason. That's because the control stands in these locomotives uh, were set up so that the front of the locomotive was the long hood. So there's a reason why I'm running them this way. And uh, that's the reason. And they look great. RS-11s are very noticeable. They have that little notch. I think you can see it there. There's a notch under the number board. And that's where you would fill it with sand so that the, the, the sand would be released to keep the wheels from slipping. Now, I think in 1983, Central Vermont got rid of these. And they went to another railroad, a small short line called Quaberg Transfer, I believe, got these locomotives and repainted them. But uh, in the CV scheme, it looks really great. So Atlas did a pretty good job with these, I would say. So if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. And these are my seventh favorite locomotives. And as I said, they're going to get better and more detailed and more uh, obscure. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have a good day.